one, Kim will say there at Sex, Drugs and Cold and Cold. And this week's question from Hammers Poles is, do you think we're too good to go down or is relegation a real possibility now? Um, 2003, if you're old enough to remember it, because it was a long time ago now, um, proved to everyone that you're never too good to go down. Uh, the team that we had then, back then, you know, Decanio, Canute, Defoe, Joe Cole, David James, Trevor Sinclair, Michael Carrick. Like, we had some blinding players in that team. Um, and we were challenging for Europe the season before that as well, when we finished seventh under Glen Roder. So I don't think, you know, any club is too good to go down. Like, we really shouldn't take that for granted. I think our only saving grace this season is Southampton and Norwich are far worse than us, but three teams go down, not two. Um... I really, really, really want Pellegrini to turn it around. You know, I've said it a number of times on different outlets. I don't think any manager would succeed under this board, but that's another argument. Um, so I don't, I don't even think changing the manager um, is going to save us, to be honest, if we're going to go down. I don't think we will go down, but where you know you can't take it for granted. You're never, ever, ever too good to go down. I think we are pretty much in a relegation dogfight now. We are. There's no point in denying it. You know, I'm not in denial about it at all. Um, we definitely are in a relegation dogfight, but I really want Pellegrini to turn it around because um, the names that have been reeled off for the managerial position just don't fill me with any excitement or any optimism whatsoever. So, in answer to the question, no, I don't think we are too good to go down. Come on, you irons. Stand too good to go down. Well, uh, no, we're not. Um, no, and it's really are they. Um, you know, if you ain't putting the results together, then you, you're going to go down, and yeah, and that's exactly what we haven't done. We haven't been putting the results together, have we? Um, Pellegrini's been really stubborn, you know, really, really stubborn with his formation and not changing it, and um, it's just not good enough. But like against Southampton, he did, didn't he? Which um, I'm quite happy about. Um, the team looked a lot better, solid, didn't they? Antonio was magnificent, but Haller looked a different player to me. You know, that's the formation that's going to save us, isn't it? And it will save his job if he wants to keep his job. And it will prove that he's a better manager and can hold his hands up and say, well, I'm not getting it right. It's not working today. You know, um, so we're not too good to go down. It's very, very easy. But what scares me the most, I had this conversation on a Twitter feed uh, with you guys on the community, was, um, you know, we don't own the ground. That's what scares me the most, is if we go down, you know, if we go down, then, um, you know, we could go to a free fall like Portsmouth for. Leeds had a lot of trouble, didn't they? But they own their grounds, whereas we don't. And that's a real concern to me. Real concern. Um, I mean, they've got to keep us in there, really, haven't they? Because who else is going to take it? So, um, we are... Uh, I'm worried about that. That really concerns me. So, yes, I, we mustn't go down this season. Um, so, really, he's got to just stick with a 4-4-2. It looks like a good side. Let's hope he does it for Palace, because I think they're beatable. So, I think he can do that. You know, we can beat them and then get, keep going forward. Um, you know, because we, if we do go down, we'll lose a lot, a lot of money. A lot of money, you know. I and mean, we won't be able to afford the players. And we won't be able to afford him because he's on 8 million quid a year. You know, and those two, the old dildo boys, they're going to take all their money out, aren't they? So, uh, financially, ain't looking good. I don't think, if you see what I mean. You know, the possibility of a disaster. A massive disaster. You know, it could be end, it could be catastrophic for us. Catastrophic. You know. Um, but there you go. Uh, we'll see, eh? What happens? Um, take it easy. Have a nice Christmas. All right? Let's hope we beat Palace on Boxing Day. Take it easy. Look after yourself. Come on, you guys. Up your hammers. This is Adam here from the West Ham's Why We Drink podcast. And I really want to say that we are too good to go down. But I remember saying that before and we went down. Um, so I can't be certain. Uh, our form is terrible. 
But the glimmer of hope that I have is that, you know, teams that go down, they're not capable of beating Chelsea away and they're not capable of beating Manchester United, which we are. I think we're just in a slump. It's not a good slump. Um, it's gone on for way too long. But I really do think that we'll bounce back and get out of it. Um, and right now, the league is so close. You know, we're if we get three wins, we're in the top half of the table. So I think that we have what it takes to turn it around. I think we are too good to go down. And I think we're too soon to be worried about relegation. That being said, as a West Ham fan living in America, um, it would be, for me, the most heartbreaking thing for us to get relegated. Um, because it would literally mean that I wouldn't be able to watch the games anymore. So um, I think it will hit me harder than the previous two times in my life that we've been relegated. So we're too good. We're staying up. Come on, you irons. Right. Are we too good to go down? Um, no, we're not. And uh, I think we've proved that the last couple of times we've been relegated. I was in 2003 and then back in 2010. Um, we were kind of unlucky on both, you know, both uh, times to get relegated. Um, and I know we've just hit form um, after the win against Southampton, but I don't think we we'll get relegated. I'm never really worried about relegation. Uh, I just I just wonder when our form's going to pick up, um, when the players are going to start coming back from injury. Um, it's weird at the moment because every time Pellegrini seems to be on the verge of the sack, the team starts performing and gets a win. So uh, even when the fear is there, it's, it's suddenly uh, it's turned around. But um, yeah, fundamentally, we're not. We, no team is ever too good to go down. I just don't think we're that bad. Um, you know, we are terrible at times, and our runner form is pretty bad. Um, you know, throughout the season. But I don't know. This team's got more about it, and uh, I think when, the, when Fabianski comes back from injury, whenever that will be, and now we've got Antonio back, um, it's easy to say this team will go down. You know, with the but the potential we've got, it's not going to happen for me. And, um, you know, it's a worry. It always is a worry when we start losing a few games. And we are right down there, to be fair. And one win doesn't, you know, just papers over the cracks in some ways. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about relegation yet.